Hi, welcome back everybody. Um, today I'm going to try a bullet journal spread. So um, I went to the store yesterday. Our province is in lockdown, so pretty much the only thing that's open right now is Walmart. And um, I totally forgot to get a journal for 2021. So luckily they actually had a decent selection there, although most of the things were picked through already. And um, last year I had this journal here, this planner, and I really enjoyed using it. It was my first year getting a proper planner. I've always used little pocket planners, um, something like this that I keep in my bag and I still use these things, but they end up being really messy because <laughs> I just keep adding lists and lists and it's not very organized. So this is kind of like a good place to keep notes, but I did find um, using a planner really handy last year and I really enjoyed using this one. And uh, it had a monthly page and then a weekly spreads. So that was fun. And I really enjoyed the kind of cream color and uh, I was having fun with this. So um, this year, I was trying to think about um, the ways in which I used this planner last year and the ways in which it would be more functional for me. So I chose this one. First of all, it came with three little ribbons, which I think is great. Um, you put one on the day that you're in, maybe a month marking, and then, I don't know, something else, an important date. Um, this is an unmarked uh, planner. So you would have to like select the month and the day and then maybe when you start your week um, say what day of the week it is. So I guess you have to keep track of it a little bit more than something that has uh, days in it already. But um, I did like that there was just this big to-do list and this note area because I tend to make lots of lists and um, Often it's, it's not very practical to do it on a daily basis. It's easier to do it on a weekly basis because you might have like five things on one day, which is unreasonable, but you might have to spread it out over two or three days. And then you can just check them off as you go instead of like scratching it out and moving it to like the next day and then moving it to the next day. Anyhow, that's what I found in the way that I was using it. And I also liked this dotted page on this side because it makes it more like a journal. Like I think this one is supposed to be for bullet journaling and I've never done bullet journaling before but it seems like fun and maybe a way to be a little bit more creative or just have um, a more customizable thing and um, I like that it's kind of open so you can just play around a little bit more you know i don't know if that's gonna work for me but um i think it will this one also has cream colored paper which i like and um i like things that i have to serve as a practical for myself but also i do have a stationery shop and i take product photos so I use my my old planner from last year to do a lot of product photography and I'll do the same this year. So I did want something that goes like matches my kind of stickers. So I don't have to have a different planner to do photography because that's just too much. <laughs> you know, uh, I like being able to kill a couple birds if one's down. So, um, I'm looking forward to using this. It uh, does have this little like ruler at the back. I guess these are little marker things for 
um, bullet journaling, something I don't really know about, but I think it works with symbols, like you set your own symbols so that you know what things mean. I don't know if I'll be so strict like that. There is a little place at the beginning to make your own legend. I don't know if I want to really do that. Um, the only downside I would say is that there wasn't that much of a selection left and I did want a pale pink um, planner just because it's easier to photograph with the things that I have um, because I have a lot of like these kind of I don't know baby colors <laughs> is that the word for it lighter toned colors and this is quite bright uh, maybe it works Maybe it's like good and contrasting, um, but that's just because I'm doing product photos and I was thinking about that. I do have other notebooks that I can take photos with, so that might not be such a big deal. Anyhow, I'm going to attempt to do a spread, so here it goes. this first page open for kind of like projections for the year sort of thing and start on the second page although maybe I should do that page hmm. So over here in this little cigar box is where I keep my own um, stickers, planner stickers, because I, I do make my own. This one was a, a misprint, the color was off, although it looks kind of nice, so um, maybe that's not such a big deal. Anyhow, I kept that one for myself. And this is where... My planner sticker stuff lives. So I'm gonna look through here and see what I want to use. how this goes. <laughs> so thinking about it a little bit more, today is Wednesday and um, I'll probably use this until Sunday and I should make a spread for Monday so I have like an idea of how it would work. 
for a full week. Now, some washi tapes. I really dislike measuring things. And I often just make a stencil. six boxes and then a weekend box. So probably something around there. Okay, I guess I do need a ruler. Inches. I think that once you have a formula that you like, you can just make the spreads the same way. Or I suppose that some people enjoy changing it up, and that's why they do it this way. I'm gonna make the weekend box. Boxes lined. Even with a ruler, I'm not very straight. I think I would pick something up from watching planner videos, but I haven't, obviously. Okay, I think I'm going to make a little heading area. I don't have nice writing. The lettering is something I need to work on. I just want to decorate it. I want to get to the decorating. <laughs> okay, so I think that the way I'm going to do this is just highlighting. So the month is January. like this maybe this is like gonna last me a really long time although there might be some days that I need to work it out or I'll use it more like a notebook because I have ideas to get down so um, I'm sure this will be variable the only thing that is missing here is days of the week you know it should be like a way to mark that off somehow I'm going to make a little kind of smooshies. I think that 
that this could get uh, fun. Right now I'm wondering if I will even keep up with this thing. Like in this kind of way. Maybe it becomes addictive. So. differently. I made seven spaces, but I was thinking, well, I obviously messed up. So we'll go Saturday, Sunday in there. And then I'm not sure what that could be. Because I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to use this. Um, I think what I'll end up doing is putting my to-dos here and then maybe when I got it done, like just a reminder of when I got it done. So as far as like, you know, if there was orders to send out, I'll be like mailed out on Tuesday over here and you know, so I can refer to what day that happened. So a lot of people draw in these things and stuff. Sure, it's a good like a wintry thing to do. Maybe, maybe leaves like and, like pine needle kind of leaves. To the right, easy shape. I think what people tend to do is then like delineate their areas in pen and then erase their pencil marks. So try to do it like pros. An aversion to straight lines. up there it had it like two rows oh well maybe I just won't mark those lines up I think this is something that you can do on a Sunday evening to relax yourself enjoy kind of journaling or maybe like you can use this as just a reflection page like to start off the week or you know do actual journaling on the side because you might be able to get everything done as far as like organization on that side really that's what really attracted me to this planner just like I'm a list person. I've seen other people really like go hard in their bullet journals and like do elaborate spreads with crazy themes and um, I don't know if I have the energy for that or if this is my thing. I mean, I like the practicalness of a planner, but I don't know if I, I don't know, I don't know about this. Perhaps I'm just not good at it yet. I mean, this is very basic. Okay, so. I just want to put stickers in here. <laughs> Oh, there are winter ones. Yay. Oh, I should erase my lines. It's too many steps. Yeah, 
I don't even know what else I would do. Or how I would use it. I guess I should put the day somewhere, right? Something. I'm just unsure. And also, I feel like I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> Again, this guy's too cute. I'm just sticker crazy. try this week and see how I would actually use it because I don't even have anything to fill in that following week. I don't know what I'm putting in there yet. So it's June and this is gonna go to the 10th. Let me just put a little thing here that says This is more my style of just decorating-ish. You know. Is it the catnip washi tape from YouTube? And it is one of my favorites. Look at those guys. Really like winter stuff, but I don't seem to have a lot of winter stationaries. I need to do a huge digital cleanup. This one for weekdays. <laughs> yeah, I think I would prefer doing stuff like this where it's just more open and I can move around. work better maybe. Oh, I just found these that I was using before inside of my other planner and I can also use them in here. And I could use this at the beginning of the month just so I have a calendar because this one doesn't have a calendar at the beginning of the month. So, hmm. Life hack. I think I will put calendar in. Just so I can flip and just find, I mean this isn't January 1st, but it's the first day in 
my year. <laughs> my old uh, planner went until the 4th, so I actually only missed one day. Cool. Okay, I guess I'm just more the scrapbooky type. This is this is more fun to me. The other one felt like work. Ah, it's smeared. I've seen people that are into this bullet journaling stuff have um of glue stick that is on a dispenser and it looks really cool and very tiny. Looking for a blue. like made to mark off your day or not day like the page number but that doesn't seem necessary so I'm just gonna put a J so I know it's January seems more more of a thing so this is like kind of my weekly to-do list this is gonna be something of like stuff that I need to get started because I have some things I need to get started. I'm really late on the Valentine stickers so I don't even know if it's gonna be a thing this year but I should just get them done that way I have them for next year. That's the nice thing about seasonal items that like they'll always come back. Easter I still have time for, and I love Easter. Okay, 
this is really working out for me. This is more of my jam. And I can really see myself doing this. It's like less stress than making squares and actually in a way it looks more um, calm <laughs> and uh, just much more practical to the way I use things compared to this which uh, looks kind of strained and um, I just don't think I want to be doing this every week that's just not something I like to do so I think I'm gonna stick to something like this and then maybe sometimes when I'm feeling like doodly, I'll doodle spreads, but I really don't think um, I have time for that. Like this took a lot less time, it looks a lot cuter, and um, it's just more practical to my use. So, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, look into <laughs> my planner setup. It was a little bit um, of a discovery for me. So I will maybe do some updates as I figure out how to do this bullet journaling thing. Although I think the whole thing about a planner is just to use it and use it the way that works for you. So I think that this is the way it's going to work for me and um i hope that you are getting organized it's january it's a great time to do it and um i'll see you at the next one bye guys if you're a planner person how do you use your planner and if you do bullet journaling am i doing it right <laughs> anyways i'd love to hear uh how you guys get organized uh let me know in the comments below Make sure to check out the description box for links to all the artists whose stickers I used in my planner today. Um, they're all really great. Some of them have YouTube channels and it's always nice to support small businesses like theirs when you can. So um, yeah, do check that out. And um, thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. And I will see you at the next video. Bye.